Who am I? What am I? Why am I here? More existential questions. Bananas. Is this an internal monologue or an external voiceover? I should probably roll the credits so we can forget about this. What is up guys? Andrew here and welcome to Comic Booker. All things comics from a creator. So, as creative people, we like to plan. When we get an idea, we usually want to realize it as quickly as possible. And the fastest way to do that is to build a kind of mental scaffolding for how we're going to achieve it. We come up with a plan. In comics, this usually takes the form of an outline or a script. And I love this process. You'll hear many writers say that they come up with the ending first and then reverse engineer from that. This is a great technique and it can be very helpful for crafting a story because it gives you a clear target to aim for throughout your story. The problem with plans though, is that it can often make the story feel predictable. Especially if the plan is so finely wrought, it can lead to some very cold and mechanical writing, as if you were just connecting dots on a predetermined path. There's no fuzz, no grit, no dirt, no noise. In being a writer, you lose that thing that is exciting about being a reader of a story, that sense of discovery. Well, there's a way around that. And it's something that you may, like a lot of creative people, find quite thrilling. It's called improvisation. And in comics, that usually means going into a story without a plan. Why is this a good idea? Well, because it forces you as a creator to engage with the story as a reader. You don't know how this is going to end. You don't know where all of this is going. All you know is that you're you and you're here and these are your tools and somehow you have to make this work. When I first started my six-page comic, No Boy and the Inside Ocean of Why, all I had was a black and white sketch of a bandaged mummy. I thought to myself, what would he look like with color on? As soon as I put those colors on him, I realized, oh my god, this guy is a rainbow mummy. And yes, I need to make a comic about it. But what was the story going to be about? So I thought to myself, why not make that the story? What if he had a kind of amnesia and the story was about him discovering more and more about himself as he went along? I began sketching out the comic pencil on paper, starting out with a big splash panel of birds and his unraveling head because I thought to myself, that's a good strong image to start out on. And then I called him No Boy because that sounded like a cool name reflecting his amnesiac state. And I gave him a kind of guide through this world, like a spirit animal. A kangaroo, because, you know, kangaroos are fun to draw. Suddenly, I had some parameters. I had two characters, a problem, and a feeling. The story began to take the shape of an absurdist fairy tale. The specifics of it, however surreal, began to imply some very universal thoughts to me. Thoughts about growing up, about mental health, and living in a world that often doesn't make sense. Panel after panel, I drew it out, and each successive beat of the story implied another beat, and then another, until the shape of it became clearer and clearer to me. Eventually, the ending of No Boy's story seemed inevitable, and I got so excited when I realized what it was. Wait, let me correct that. When I discovered what it was, and it was so exciting because I felt the way a reader might feel when reading this comic, that even in a bizarre world of rainbow mummies, talking kangaroos, and random adventures, here is this one thing that makes sense, and it all comes back around. Improvising a story doesn't always work out. That's the constant danger in making stuff. Even having a plan doesn't guarantee that things will work out. Though, you know, plans can be helpful. But if you're thinking about improvising your story, I have three tips for you. One, start yourself off with some parameters. Going in without a plan doesn't mean going in empty-handed. It helps to have a few broad things to guide you along your storytelling journey. Start with a character. Start with a problem. Give yourself a page count or a theme. Even a few single word prompts will do. I did a video recently where I asked Twitter for three prompts and proceeded to make an eight page comic in a week from them. Parameters give us something to hold onto as we journey into the darkness of discovery. These will be the tools that you wield as you move through your story. My second tip is to accept everything. Even if it seems wrong or out of place, even if it makes you uncertain or nervous, the greatest enemy of improvisation is doubt. There's an editor in the back of our minds that is constantly assessing, criticizing, and pushing us to undo what we just did. It's the voice in your head that says, maybe if I do this another way, it will be better. Trust me guys, if you follow this advice, you might just end up retracing your steps 
all the way back to the beginning and any progress you made will be lost. Editing is only really useful after you've finished the first draft of your story. Otherwise, it just slows you down. Until you can see the shape of the whole thing, you won't have the necessary perspective to rethink it. Which leads me to my last tip, find your ending. Your story won't be complete without it and will stay in creative limbo until you do. Even if things are a bit rough and messy, treat this as a first draft and power through to your end. Go fast if that helps, but follow your notes, adapt, and just accept the twists and turns of your story until the conclusion reveals itself. In systems theory, there's this idea called emergence, which posits that when you add up enough simple entities and properties, they eventually cohere into a complex system. Patterns and behaviors naturally emerge from randomness. Previously insignificant and potentially disparate elements come alive as a living, breathing system. I tend to think of comics and stories in general as complex systems. When we improvise, we start simply throwing one element in and then another and then another and building it up until the story comes to life. You'll know when it comes to life. It's the best feeling in the world. It's what makes comics and storytelling worthwhile. So, does this mean you should just improvise everything and not plan? Hell no! <laughs> Planning is still an excellent part of the creative toolbox. Just don't forget that you can toss out the choreography and just dance. Try it out for yourself. Do a little stick figure comic, put some words in their mouths. See what happens. It doesn't have to be long and you might just surprise yourself. Hope you find this video useful. By the way, if you're curious about the comic that I talked about in this video, I've left a link to it in the description below. Until next time, peace.